Yo, what is up, guys? For today's video, we're going to be solo queuing threes, twos, and 1v1s. So whatever we get, we'll play. Let's get into it. See if we can get some dubs. Let's see how it goes. All right, for the first game, we got ourselves a 1v1 game. We got Guacamole. Going to be an uh, interesting one. I don't know who this is, but we found this game instantly. They're going to be good. Unfortunate. Bumped them into that. Be able to help them recover off of it. Good delay on the save there. Good bump from him. Don't know if it's fast enough. He's probably going to have it. It's a good touch from him there. Try to stay on this. Take the flip. Keep possession here. As long as you don't flip into that stuff and like you don't full commit, you're always going to have a pretty good advantage in these situations. Like right there, that's pretty smart of him not to flip into. I don't have to do anything again. I still have control. There we go. Wait for him to actually full commit. Give us the opening. Give us the chance to get a flick over him. Played it really well though. The first minute. <coughs> I focus on our kickoff though. So stuff like that doesn't happen because we could definitely lose games just off kickoff and ones. In my opinion, 1v1 is still 100% decided by the kickoff. So if you guys want to get good at ones, I recommend learning how to do a good kickoff and learning how to counter certain kickoffs. I still don't know how to honestly. I kind of just try to like brute force my way through the kickoffs and then just try to outplay them during the actual game. Um, not a bad way to play but like if you want to be consistent and be like a really good ones player these days you definitely have to learn all of the different kickoff strats and stuff. Took my time here. One touch, now let's take a shot here, see what he does. He's gonna have to save it off his back ball, and I'm gonna have possession off of this. Ah, uh, tried to fake the the late jump there. So we can save. Stuck on my net as well, which is good for me. I take this boost. Should be a goal. Can't actually get back to that. Game mode's also so reliant on just like little mistakes, right? So the more like you can get your opponent to just overcommit. <laughs> Why are you sending so hard? That was open. Oh, I like I like the trash talk. He wants it. He wants to dub. But yeah, any little mistake you can get your opponent to to make early on is gonna be good for you. Like committing for little things, like right there. That was good of him. He made me like kind of like push the ball into him. He won the 50 well, and then I'm in just an awkward spot after that, right? So this kickoff that he's doing is really overpowered as well. There's almost nothing you could do about that kickoff if they do it right, because they're going to have possession every, every single time. It's a good shot. If we can keep control of this, it's going to be a goal in a second. Just fake the, the flip. Take our time. That's really OP to do that most of the time. If you go off the ceiling and you have your flip, you could threaten it the whole way through. And most of the time, it's going to be good. Gotta wait for his flip there. I don't have any boost. It's kind of risky to go for the full commit there, but we're still bumping him off the ball, which is good. Can't actually get back though. It was a good try. Let's see what he says. Surely he's typing there. He also my boost is pretty good for us. Try not to commit so much because all the goals he's gotten so far have been off us like pretty hard committing here. So try to play the rest of this game out a little bit safer. Fun. Let him shoot this. See what he does. He saves to the side. I can get another shot on goal, maybe. Let him panic. There we go. It's crazy how little you really have to do in this mode, though, to get goals. It's so much about just not jumping, like not diving for stuff. Because if I just dove for that, I would have got fake. 
This is a good player too. Like, this is a good ones player for sure. I don't know about twos or threes. I don't know who this is, but you can tell they're good just by their kickoff. Right? You guys only have to work for two of his goals because he got them shit off kickoff. So that's something that you know right off the bat they're an experienced ones player. If they can get those goals off of literally just understanding how to use their kickoff to their advantage. And there's me just brute forcing my way to these goals. Try to fake challenge on kickoff. He reads it, takes it to the side, and I just drive into it. Get the bump. Take advantage of the situation. <laughs> Wait, this is good content. I like this a lot. It's not every day you run into someone that's like toxic. Because normally if they see they're playing me, they tend not to say anything. But this guy's a different breed. I like the situation though. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything to provoke him. I want him to just, I think in this situation, just let him have like a conversation with himself. And then by the end of the game, he's going to look at his comments and he'll be like, wow, I look pretty dumb. I was unlucky that I didn't get that boost there. It's a good demo. Rockamole is on the case. Try to fake challenge, close the space early. Wow. <laughs> Almost really unfortunate. It's one of those touches that happen, like, you mess up your initial flick and then, like, the end of your flip just hits the ball where you wanted it to originally. Should have just sat on the floor there, though. I was low boost in a bad spot. Might be fast enough, I'm not sure. Nice. Alright, we got one kickoff goal back. We'll take it. The kickoff is doing is still good though. I gotta learn that. Ah, oh, I went for the that perfect that pinch off the ground. Let's see what he does here. Oh, he actually just shoots it. Okay, so I could have just dove. That's what I was gonna do. If I dove at that, I would have completely dunked him into his half. Would have been probably a goal for me. Gotta be careful here now though. His possession off kickoff. See what he does. Go ceiling here. Should be fine for me. I got the boost. <laughs> Let's keep it up. No, I wanted the double. I wanted to go for the last second BM. See what he says. Hold on. Let's let's see if he can dig himself a deeper hole than he already has. He's only talked to himself the whole game. I keep for 20 minutes just to tell these. Who is this? I actually I'm so curious who this is. It's a good one player for sure. I don't know who this is though. Guacamole X. I don't I just I don't know who it is. All right, anyway, doesn't matter. He had a fun time talking to himself. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the first game. Let's get to the next one, see if it's ones, twos, or threes. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> All right, for the last game, we got ourselves 12, who's on a Batmobile. Oh my. Against Brock and KX or Kayx. I'm not sure how to say that, but. See how it goes. Picking the first. The first touch here. Stay behind him. I haven't seen a Batmobile in rank in so long. It's so weird looking. They messed up really bad, so I should have a lot of time here. Wait for the bounce here. Should I play it around him? Pick the next high touch. Play it under him. Played over to him now. I should have just went solo, honestly. I probably could have scored it. I tried to pass, but the habit of mine from, from threes. Always trying to pass stuff like that. Really good touch. If there's Boomer here, it's fine. If there's more toward me, I would have had it, but I was just trying to float, cover some options. I didn't waste too much boost either. 
Should be fine. We have some time here. Not a bad situation. Hopefully my teammate can just challenge. If he gets beat, that's the only way that gets bad. But if he just goes, any kind of touch on the ball is good. Doesn't really matter. Same thing here. Kind of just how our rotation's working right now. We're kind of just trying to get touches on these challenges. Nothing crazy, but as long as we just keep challenging when we have to, it's not going to be anything dangerous for a bit. Like that, I don't even have to go for that. I kind of just made him make a bad touch on his zone. Ah, uh, so close. Should have been a goal. I, I just mistimed my flip just by a little bit. Good try there. Haven't beat to that. And I didn't waste much boost. Only used 20 to get to that ball. The challenge. Off the wall for ourselves. We go for a shot. It's a good play there. We know we can't go quick to that. My teammate's still not rotated back, so we don't want to just hit that off the corner. No one can follow it up, so. Soft touch to herself there is definitely the best play. Did a good job. Sit behind him here, wait for the flick. He messed up his flip, actually helped him. One of those situations where like the mistake actually works better than the actual thing. Can't double, but I can at least make them all panic, which is good. Ran that a boost for the double. Nice. That's a good read. Nice pass read there. Good pass for my teammate. I don't think he meant to pass it, obviously, but it's one of those things that you just kind of take. You go with it. You're in the position, so you just try to take a shot. Try to snipe it. Close. Pop it up. Not trying to go for a shot off that, because I know they're going to be there for it. And it's better. It kills more time for my team to get a actual challenge on this next ball. It's a good 50. As long as my team doesn't get beat, it's fine. Nice win. Really good win, actually. And he kills me, so it puts me all the way back in rotation. It pretty much completes the whole rotation for me without having to do anything, which is why I like that. So I would have probably just beat him there and went all the way back anyway. Hit it high, weird for him. He has to get it some some type of control touch on this. And just bait his touch here. Teammate should go now. Now it's awkward. Gets past him, but yeah, okay. Again, just go for me and I'll be ground. One covering high, one covering ground, and it should be okay. Go for a bump on this guy. I should have, nice. Try to play it over him with the soft touch. Oh, I didn't think he'd go for the boost, so it kind of threw a rotation off a little bit, but it's okay. Nice 50 off the wall. Can't follow that, but it's okay. I have left side of the field now. Any kind of touch that comes here, I'll be here for it. That's something that you have to like keep track of as well. Like if your teammate is on the right side, don't bunch up all the way on the right with him as well. Unless you know 100% that there's no way I can go left, right? You want to have the most field coverage as possible. That way, you're not like completely caught off guard when the ball goes flying somewhere. I'm ready for this one. Just hit it off the wall. Don't mind if you get the touch on this. Pretty easy to save. You take the boost again, but as long as he controls it, it should be fine. Nice. And only have 30 seconds to make a play now, so it's going to be really rushed. The rest of the plays are going to be really rushed, I know that. So I can start throwing in some fakes. Stuff like that. Throw in some more fakes. Don't actually have to like full commit for any of these balls. And one big fake here. They're waiting for us to throw the ball away, right? So don't make it easy for them. We can save. Press my teammate here. Good job. My first touch. Nice. Good job. All right. Good game for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is when you guys are watching this, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.